first stop in the forest, Tanguana. Exciting! But the journey was tough. First, I had to take a very early flight. 4 a.m. But the plane couldn't land in Pucallpa because of the fog, and we had to go back to Lima, wait there, and finally fly again to Pucallpa. Then, we drove for several hours under crazy heat and on bumpy roads before reaching the river and finally the station. During the lunch stop, Jorge, the nephew of the family who lives in Panguana, tells me that they have two chachabacas. But at the moment, I have no idea what he's talking about. I work on end-plant relationships. My goal in Panguana is to find 10 to 20 arboreal ant colonies associated with their end plant and, if possible, fruits. You might think that finding one specific plant in a jungle is impossible. But fortunately, the plant I'm interested in grows in very special places that look like gaps in the forest. This allows me to see them easily from afar. Most of my work consists in walking in the forest, sometimes with Moro and other people staying at Penguana, marking plants with my GPS to come back later and collect samples. During such long walks, breaks in small springs are always welcome to cool down inside the boots. They are also the occasion to look around and sometimes spot interesting things, such as this sloth. Penguana is a private conservation area, which means that the owners are bound to preserve the local ecosystems. It's a beautiful place to stay at, with a lot of comfort and amenities for a biological station. And also, a few surprises. The plant I'm interested in is associated with one ant species. The plant provides housing to ants, in hollow swollen twigs called domatia. The ants kill all the plants surrounding their host, therefore creating some sort of clearings with low local competition and plenty of space for the offspring of their host. There are several such clearings in Penguana, but always small, with rarely more than one plant at a time. During one of my walks, I find a strange place where ants from several different species seem to converge. It's a dead armadillo. Soon, the trail will be clean again and only a few bones and scales will remain. The funny thing with my GPS is that it records my speed. Every day, I notice a clear spike right before lunch. Which is not a surprise. The food in Panguana is amazing. Neri cooks exceptional meals with local ingredients, and I can't help but stuffing my face with delicious specialties, such as this papas a la huancaina. Not too far from the station is a special place called a colpa. Several animals go there to eat soil and get their supply of minerals, leaving countless footprints in the mud. Using a camera activated by movement, we discover that pacas, porcupines, squirrels, agoutis, and peccaries visited the colpa over one single night. Now that I spotted enough plants, it's time to prepare my collecting gear. And now I can go back to the clearings. On my way to collect samples, I stumble upon a nest of social spiders hanging from the canopy. Hundreds of tiny spiders built the web cooperatively and are now waiting for a prey. A large moth just fell in the trap. Instantly, the predators attack the unfortunate. Soon, the moth stops moving and dies. It will be a huge meal for the whole colony. Not every day is suitable for a nice stroll in the forest. Sometimes you're just reminded that you are in a rainforest and you get stuck at home. This is the occasion to spend quality time with the so-called chachabacas. I learned during my stay that this word 
was a funny childish word for Sachabacas, the other name of tapirs. And with no further ado, let me introduce Panchito and Panchita, the Sachabacas of Panguana. This is already the end of my stay. After walking more than 80 kilometers in the forest, I found several clearings and collected many samples and data, but couldn't find any fruit. Let's hope I will be lucky at the next station. Time to go. We hop on the canoe and get on our way. Despite the heavy rain, this last trip is a lot of fun, and such was my whole stay in Penguana. I loved every second of it, and I hope that I will have the opportunity to go back. Thank you very, very much.